Guys, we're back making videos. I haven't done this in two weeks. Um, the point of me saying that is because I'm trying to make a thumbnail. As usual, that's what we do at the beginning of every video. It's nothing new. It, I do this every time. Uh, I recently put closed captioning on my TV. Uh, I personally like it quite a bit. I think it really helps when watching shows and it's hard to hear. Um, but sometimes it's annoying, especially when you're trying to get a thumbnail because you just get text in the thumbnail. Nobody, nobody likes that. No, nobody wants text. It's not. Nobody wants that. That's a good thumbnail. He's slightly off center, but that's okay. Guys, we're back making a video, and obviously, if you've seen this episode of SNL or you're watching it live on TV in the states or in the, in Canada, um, Ed Sheeran performed, and obviously, you know, I got to do a video for Ed Sheeran. Like he's he's had an incredible year, last two years, 2020, 2021. I think Bad Habits came out this year. I think it was this year, and it exploded like. That's I, when I first heard it. I was like, "It's okay," but then, like it, it just exploded. And then he performed for the first song he performed was called "Shivers," full full video at twelve hundred and ten subscribers. Because we're actually at a thousand eleven hundred ninety, which I didn't expect to actually hit. So twelve hundred and ten subscribers, full video in the description if you want to check it out. Yeah, here we go. We'll try to make you guys good because I know sometimes my recordings don't pick up sound. Very quiet, it's always hard to hear. Yeah, see the see the words there? See how the see so the sunlight cracks? See how it kind of the camera starts falling and the, the closed captioning start kicking in? I don't like it. But it helps you not for music but for big T V shows. I love that note. That note always gets me. It's like, is that how it drops? Yeah, there's some lyrics if y'all want to read the words. I think it's amazing. Oh, I want to say something before I continue. I know we're almost at the end of the video, so I usually say this at the beginning, but if you watch The Voice, the TV show, the, the singing competition, competition, a few weeks ago, about a month ago, I think, or three weeks ago, Ed wore the exact same shirt, but in blue. They had the Louis Vuitton cuffs, and it was the, I, the same identical blue shirt version of the one he's wearing now. And I was like, yo, this man has like a bunch of them. Obviously, he has the blue one, he has the red one. Maybe he has a green one, a yellow one, a, an orange one. I don't know, a black one. But this man literally is rocking. He has rocked two of those shirts already in, uh, in public. And I think that his, his, his shoe game, though, like, those are really nice Nikes. Probably like three grand, four grand. They're nice. Back to the performance. I think it was an absolutely great performance. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about it. I mean, Ed Sheeran's mega talented. He's like everyone's favorite redhead. Um, a lot of people I know absolutely love his music, and he's he's basically been one of the one of the biggest influencers of the pop game for a very long time. I mean, he writes great love songs. He writes great songs in general, and I think that this album, uh, was it Divide? Divide, I think it was Divide, or Multiply. Divide. Multiply? I don't know. Whatever his last album was. The one he released recently, which I listened to. Yeah, it was very well done. I think Two Step is like one of the... It's a very interesting song to listen to because it's not very Ed Sheeran. It's very... Almost, almost like trap music, which I think is very interesting of him to go to. But it's good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. And before I end this video, I want to say one thing. Um... If you've seen any of my older videos who, about Travis Scott, about Astroworld, I think I did a reaction to Astroworld when it came out. Um, I don't think he's at fault. I think that 
he didn't know. He, he recognized something was going on, but he thought it was part of the experience. I don't think he actually knew the extent of what actually happened. I think that it was a case of poor judgment and that those concerts will always have drugs, will always have... Uh, I mean, the security obviously was lackluster. There were just too many people. Um, people were injected with things. Like, what do you... I don't know. I will talk more in the second video because this one's already going to be a little bit long. Like the video, subscribe. 210 subs. And uh, yeah, prayers to all the people who, uh, unfortunately, didn't make it. Also, the people who were injured and hopefully will make it.